welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Teal Garcia. If you are not new here, thank you for coming back. Uh, today we're just going to go over some of the photos that I took in the last video. And in the last video you did see finished edited photos as I was taking them because I wanted you to see how they ended up turning out while I was taking them. But I am going to edit a few here with you and show you how I did that. Okay, so when I edit, I do edit with Lightroom and Photoshop, as you know, if you've been here before. Um, but this one I am just gonna keep in Lightroom to not confuse anyone. If you are using Lightroom mobile on your cell phone, things will be maybe a little bit different, but you should still be able to kind of find everything I do on here in there somewhere. It might be a more limited version, but you should be able to do everything the same. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna we're gonna start with Riverside first, just because that's what I had pulled up, and um, the preset that I kind of ended up using on here is um, by Dirty Boots. I think it's just their classic set. I don't or their original set. I'm not really sure because that's what it says right there. It's just Dirty Boots. Um, I use Dirty Boots number four, and obviously that made things really dark. So then I'm going to up the exposure. I think that looks really good. And anytime you're doing product photography, you really want to make sure that your white balance is correct. You don't want things to look too cool or things to look too warm. And you really want to work on keeping like the colors as true as you can. So it's always a good idea to take the little dropper tool here and drop it on white. And since I have white labels, I'll just do that. And it did warm it up a lot which I don't like so I am going to turn that down but I do like knowing that that's where the white balance is all right so now I actually really like the way that looks now I'm going to use not that now I'm going to use the masking tool and a linear gradient and I'm gonna fix kind of this shadowy area over here. So I love the window light and I love that it's a little darker on the right side. There's, I have no issue with that whatsoever. But I do want to just brighten it up. And this linear gradient is honestly the best way to do that. So you take your little X and you drag this over and where it's red is where it's gonna be affected. So I wanna make sure I get red like up into these shadows, even if it's just a little bit. So then I'm going to take this, I'm going to play with shadows, and I'm going to lift. Don't get too crazy. I'm going to take blacks and lift a little bit, but I'm going to be careful because that picture that's underneath there does have a lot of black in it. Okay, again, I still want to keep the shadow a little bit. I tend to not use exposure too much when I do this, and I really just lift the shadows because, watch, when you mess with exposure, things get kind of weird. Like, you get kind of, like, lumpy, weird shadows over here. So I tend to not mess with exposure too much. All right. Honestly, that looks really good. I can still play with whatever I want to play with over here, but you kind of just have to play with it and keep it looking good. Let me see here. There we go. Okay, and when I pop up the before and after, you can kind of see the difference. I actually don't even think this is one that I edited for the website, but I do want to show you something else. So I did a video, I don't know, it was a couple videos ago. I did a video showing you my warm vintage preset and I was playing with it because I really wanted to like have something that everybody had. Like I realized everybody not, might not have those presets and you know what? Everybody, even if you have those presets, they might not work for what you're trying to do. So I do want to show you with that warm vintage preset. I'm going to put this back. That warm vintage preset that I gave away, and I'll also put a link for it in this video. Um, and I'll show you, so then you have a preset that you can see how it works. So if I put that on here, obviously it gets really dark. I'm going to brighten up the exposure. And I'm going to do all of the same things that I did for the other one. It's just because it's this shadow. The linear gradient, pull it over, mess with blacks, mess with shadows. It's really, really pretty, really warm. 
which I don't hate, except this is not the green color <laughs> that we're going for. So let me give this a go. And that definitely cooled it down a little. So there is this too. So I just wanted to show you that I actually can get tweaking things kind of similarly. I can get kind of the same result. So again, I'll link that preset down in the description if that's something that you want to play with. I just think it's like a nice simple preset that does warm things up, but that's something you can always change too. Okay, moving on, let's go find a book photo to edit. Okay, let's edit this book photo really quick. And I'm gonna do this with the warm vintage just because that's where we're here. I don't think that's the one that I used on the original photo, but you know, whatever. So I'm gonna check my white balance. It actually doesn't look too bad. And then I am going to cool it down just a hair just because I like the way it looks. We're going to pick up our shadows. We're going to pick up our blacks. And that looks honestly like really good. Like it doesn't have to be anything crazy. I'm going to mess with my white balance just a hair more. That plant's giving me a lot of green tones. I think that looks good. All right, and those pages, I man, I tested the label instead of these pages because if you remember from the video, these pages are kind of like tan and crusty, <laughs> so I don't want to white balance check those. You want to make sure anytime you use your little dropper here and you white balance check something, it doesn't always mean it's going to look right when the white balance is correct, but you want to make sure you test something that's actually white to kind of get you at a good starting off point. Let's see, let's play with this one. Same thing. So that's what Dirty Boots does. The Dirty Boots 4, which I'm pretty sure I used on all of the ones that I posted. But then here's the vintage one. It's actually pretty similar. It's just, I think this one's a little bit warmer and it does darken it a lot more. All right, and this one I'm gonna crop because you could see the top there. All right. I'm going to play with some shadows and play with some blacks. I'm going to set the white balance. I just warmed it up a little bit. I'll do some contrast. This one does drop the contrast quite a bit, but I do like a soft look. But um, yeah, that's. down that looks pretty good that looks about what I what I had done all right it's just kind of a short and sweet video um, the key things to remember when you are editing your product photos or if you're editing product photos for somebody else is again with the white balance making sure that the colors and everything looked correct I mean if you have a dark pink and a preset lightened it up just a hair like that's one thing but we're talking like if they order a pink candle and they end up getting a red candle in the mail because the color was not correct that's not good <laughs> so um, yeah, I do want to do more because like I said in the um, video before, we have started this candle business. So if you have any questions regarding product photography or uh, so what happened is I posted in a group, a candle making group that um, I was here for help if anybody needed help with, you know, product photography and a lot of people posted and even messaged me. They DM'd me about like how their product photos look and what kind of tips I could give them. So here's my offer. If you are a candle maker or even just like a small product maker um, and you have taken your own product photos and you would like those critiqued by me, I would actually really love to do a video about that. So if you are interested in this and want to submit photos and I can go over them in the video, then go ahead and email me. I'll put a link in the description, but my email is just hello at tealgarcia.com. I know I like to be bougie about it. <laughs> People usually laugh at me when I tell them that email address. But if you, yeah, if you want any part in that video, if you want to submit some photos for me to critique in a video, so don't be shy about it. And I like, you know, I like to think that I give a friendly critique and <laughs> I'm not going to just rip everything apart. I'm pretty honest yet nice about it. So if that is something that you would like, 
go ahead and do that and maybe that's a video I can put together next week. All right, that's it. If you have any other follow-up questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please do so, and I will see you next time. Bye.